This is an energy band diagram of how the Kelvin probe works. There are two metal surfaces, a tip and a sample, and they have two different Fermi levels from the vacuum level here, with the tip having a larger work function than the sample. They're separated by a distance d, but they're not electrically connected. When you do connect them electrically, then the surfaces charge up. Electrons run from the, high, the low work function sample to the large one, so this becomes positively charged, this becomes negatively charged, and we can see from this line here, there's an electric field between the surfaces and a voltage between them, and that is what Lord Kelvin discovered in the 1880s. That is why it's called the Kelvin method. If you include a battery or EMF in this circuit, such that the battery, the positive side of the terminal, is connected to the charge that was negative, the negative side of the terminal is connected to the charge that was positive, then at a certain potential there is no field between the plates, and that is called the null field. Now, that was the uh, method suggested by Lord Kelvin, but the problem with that is, in a laboratory, detecting null is very difficult, there's lots of noise, and that's why I invented the off-null technique, where a computer controls this battery, and we extrapolate where the null position would be, but we work on high signal levels with well-defined phase, and that is the trick of the off-null system.